Hey guys, so today I am back with the second of these type of videos that I've done. Um, I have done newborn essentials already and this is going to be my kind of naught to three or naught to six really. Little one is almost five months old now so I feel like this is probably going to be like naught to six month essentials update. And as a bit of a disclaimer, the stuff that I spoke about in the newborn essentials is definitely still all pretty much all relevant for like this age group as well and I looked back through the list of things that I loved then and most of them I'm still using on like a daily basis now and still love and would recommend but there's a few things that as she's gotten a little bit older and kind of her development's gotten a little bit more advanced um I use now that I didn't use then so I wanted to talk about them um, and share a few more new bits and bobs with you all. This video is sponsored by Pregnacare. Um, if you guys haven't followed my kind of pregnancy journey, you might not know, but if you have, you'll know that I took Pregnacare all the way through my pregnancy from the day that I found out, <laughs> I went out and bought them, um, and I am still taking the um, postnatal ones now. So, it is sponsored by Pregnant Care, but I have been using them throughout my whole kind of pregnancy and baby journey. Um, and I really have had such good, a good experience and good results in terms of all of my bloods coming back when I was pregnant with like, like A star vitamin levels, all that kind of stuff. Um, not that they give you that, but like they were like really, really good according to my obstetrician. Yeah, so basically I've been using them since the very beginning. And as I said, the last time um, I did a video with Pregnant Care, they actually reached out to me about halfway through my pregnancy and asked if I wanted to work with them, um, which I was obviously really excited about because I was using them anyway and I really liked them. So um, it was a very natural fit. So I'm gonna tell you a bit about their kind of postnatal vitamins as well as some of the other products I found for the past kind of five months that have become essentials. So first of all, um, let's start with the pregnant care stuff since I'm already talking about that. At the moment I'm taking these ones, which are the new mum vitamins, but I was taking these ones, which are the, um, oh my God, these are the wrong ones. <laughs> these are my leftover pregnancy ones. Hang on, I'm gonna go and get them. There's too many packets of vitamins in my cupboard, can you tell? Okay, so now I have all three to show you. Um, so the ones I was taking when I was pregnant with these ones, which is the Pregnacare Max, which I've spoken about before. Um, then when I first had River, I was taking these ones, which are the breastfeeding ones. Um, so I took these for about five months. Basically these help, um, obviously uh, when you're breastfeeding, you want your breast milk to have like the best amount of vitamins and all that kind of stuff in it for your baby, as well as looking after your own health, like postnatally, which, obviously hormones and everything are absolutely crazy so it's really good to be able to ha like know that you have a specific vitamin that's giving you everything that you need um after having your baby um but yeah so this is says with dha which contributes to normal development of brain and eyes for breastfed infants vitamins minerals calcium vitamin d omega-3 dha so these were are really really similar to the ones that you take um or the ones i took when i was pregnant which are the two big um tablets these ones are brown instead of green but they're two big tablets and then um uh omega-3 as well but then i recently stopped breastfeeding um again whole nother story um but now i'm using these ones which are the new mum ones so these are more focused on me they're focused on hair and skin obviously after you have a baby there's that whole thing about like losing your hair not losing completely losing your hair but your hair starts falling out again whereas when you're pregnant your body like holds onto your hair apparently um and um iron vitamin b6 and b12 to contribute to the reduction of tiredness it's basically a multivitamin that's specifically tailored for like the year after you have had a baby and for me personally before i was pregnant i never really believed in taking vitamins like i had kind of dabbled in them throughout my life and i feel like vitamins are one of those things that are so they, they act quite slowly and it's obviously something that you have to bear in mind so many other factors that you're doing or not doing um, in your life, whether or not you're eating healthily, whether or not you're getting good sleep, whether or not you know, you're know you using good skincare, all of that kind of stuff like contributes to like how you feel and what you look like. So it's hard to like pinpoint things to vitamins. But when I was pregnant, um, seeing the actual results from my blood tests about how much, so like my level of vitamin D, like all of that kind of stuff, um, I had really, really good blood result tests, so or blood test results, so, um, I felt like they really worked for me and I've actually noticed a difference as well taking them. I feel really good in myself in terms of 
like not being tired and not being too drained um so yeah i'm really happy taking those yeah so pregnancy really made me like a very pro vitamin person i think it's something that i'll probably try and take going forward even though i eat very healthily like and i definitely get a lot of vitamins from like what i eat because i'm very kind of cautious about eating loads of fruit and veg and um basically very healthy food so moving on to toys because obviously when babies are newborns they don't really play with toys but moving into this stage they're like i feel like from about two months onwards they start to get kind of really responsive to different toys and um to play mats and things like that and the toys that she likes the most have always been recommendations from other mums the first one is this or gifts from other mums as well the first one is this which is um the hungry hungry caterpillar if you guys had the book when you were little i did and i loved it um my sister bought this for her as an Easter present because obviously all the other kids get Easter eggs. Um, River is way too small so she got a hungry caterpillar from my sister. Apparently my sister's little boy loved this when he was tiny so she bought the same one for River and she loves it. It's really good as well because it's got the link so you can attach it to her car seat or her buggy. You can take it off. She just likes grabbing all the different things. She likes the colours. It's a rattle. It's got scrunchy things. There's, there's a lot going on. She likes to eat his feet. Um, she likes to chew on this thing. Um, yeah, this has been a big hit and it has a, it's got a bell in it. Um, so yeah, she loves the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar and she also loves the Jelly Cat Animal Tales book, which was a gift from my sister-in-law, who my niece loved as well, which my niece loved, sorry. Um, and I have to say, I don't have that here to show you because I think it's in the back of Mike's car or I've lost it and need to go and buy another one because genuinely she loves this book. It's like one of the soft books, but it has all the animal tails sticking out of it. They do loads of different ones. They've got like a unicorn, I'm pretty sure they've got a dinosaur. The one she has is like the zoo, like the zoo animals one. Um, and she loves that and it's really good because again it will attach to the buggy but it's also like really soft and she, it's easy for her to grab because of all the tails she has a couple of those soft books which she does like but the one with the tails is definitely her favorite because it's just easier and more kind of interesting for her she likes like chewing on all the different tails and like feeling all the tails and stuff so she loves that i'm going to insert a picture so you can see what it looks like um instead of being able to show you because i don't know where it's gone i'm hoping it's in mike's car um and then she also loves these things now this one is one from my first years it's basically like this soft bunny like cloth things she has got into the habit of going to sleep like this and like babies aren't supposed to sleep like with toys or blankets or whatever in their cot so we always take it off her as soon as she falls asleep but when she's on the go especially she sometimes will be so grouchy she like won't sleep unless she has this to cuddle up to um and she tends to like try and put it over her face which i'm all i'm constantly like peeking her mouth out and she's like no nope. um but as soon as she goes to sleep i'll like take it off her and sneak it out um but she absolutely loves these it doesn't matter which one so she has i think she has three different ones she's got this one she's got a uh, brown one and a beigey one um i wanted to mention them i know most babies like these but i wanted to mention them specifically because she likes the really really soft material ones i've got a few that are more like cotton or jersey material that she doesn't like as much so um it's just worth like mentioning she loves this this one has a name on it so moving on to more kind of product based things as well um i have tried loads of different sun creams as you guys know i normally talk about beauty over on my channel so um basically every single beauty brand that makes baby sunscreen sent me their baby sunscreen and i didn't like any of them very much she's got really really dry skin on her cheeks um and she doesn't have dry skin anywhere else but on her cheeks it's particularly dry and so when it came to the last month or so when it started to get sunny and i wanted to use like proper sun cream like pretty much every day on her um i was trying all these ones and they were just because they're zinc based as well with the baby sunscreens they tend to like just stick in the dryness and be really hard to rub in and she gets really angry with me trying to rub them in and just she ends up looking like a ghost um and i tweeted to everyone saying what is the best brand for baby sunscreen that you recommend and the number one most recommended brand on twitter by far was child's farm so i actually child's farm actually sent me some of this weirdly enough um to my management and they texted me a couple of days after being like this stuff has just arrived do you want it um this is not sponsored by them at all um 
they just sent it to me along with every other baby sun care brand like I said um, but this has been the one that's that's been the best in terms of absorption this is the rollable version which can get a little messy um, but it's really good to have in your bag because it's just really portable so I have the like big version as well and this one it absorbs really well um, it's quite like oily feeling so it's really nice on her dry skin um and it seems to protect her from the sun well it's water resistant and i've been using it on myself as well and really like it the other thing that i really like is an extension of um the nappy cream that i was talking about in my newborn essentials video which is the Veleda calendula face cream this is what i've been using on her face when her face gets really dry and as I mentioned in that video, if you guys saw it, I don't really use much product on her at all. So I have used like a face wash, I have used a few different things on her, but I don't use them all the time. And when I do use them, I pretty much, well, there's a massive bumblebee in here. Oh my God, I have to show you this. That is a hornet. That is most definitely a hornet. Size comparison to my fingernails. Whoa, it's big. It's big. I'm gonna have to get rid of that. I don't know what is going on today, seriously. <laughs> okay, I managed to get the Hornet out of the room. Back on track. Um, so basically, I've been using the whole um, Veleda range and the face cream's really good. I also love the body oil. Um, she uses, I use the um, the bath, like the body wash on her as well. Like when she's had sun cream on, I'd like to wash it off at the end of the day. Whereas if she hasn't on her body, I just like wash her with water. But this is all natural and it doesn't seem to irritate her skin at all. She's never had any rashes from any of their products, um, so I really like that. The other thing that I really like, like health-wise, is this Nokia thermometer. I was sent this back when I was pregnant, um, and it's actually amazing. It's one of the, I don't know if it's like laser or infrared or whatever, but you literally go like this on her forehead, or my forehead, and then it shows up um, as the temperature. It's like a digital, I think it's supposed to do it on your temple. There we go. 36.5 um it's very clever you don't have to like obviously wash it because it's not going in your ear or in your bum or wherever um and it's been really good in terms of like when she's been poorly to check her temperature i've really liked that it's expensive that's why i wanted to give you guys a disclaimer of the fact that we got sent that because it's not a price that a lot of people would pay i think it's about 70 pounds but it is really good and i genuinely use it a lot moving on to like more clothing things we're still loving, loving, loving the Bonds Wonder Suits. They are seriously amazing. So, so good. Another thing, um, we got sent, I think, two of these when I was still pregnant. And I've ended up buying loads more of them because they're so good. And it's a tiny, tiny brand. I think they're like an Etsy brand, basically. But it's called Runa. Um, their website is super, super basic. But these bibs are so good. They're my favourite bibs that I use for her. She's got to that stage at the moment where she has to wear bibs like all the time because she's just constantly dribbling um and when she drinks her milk she's like dribbling it all down her face um but yeah so they the reason why i like them there's a few reasons they're double-sided so they have like really nice cotton on the front and then they have like a fleecy back so they're really thick stuff doesn't go through it onto her clothes but they also make just plain designs which is actually quite hard to find plain bibs and i really like kind of plain things a lot of the colors as well are super nice i think they, they only do them in a few different colors i've got yellow i've got a couple of the yellow ones actually because i really like yellow turquoise they do i've got lilac and have i got mint green i think i've got mint green i think so um but they also do i've got white and they also do like a couple of like prints and stuff but i've got all the plain ones and they're just really good they're my favorite bibs they've got two different poppers at the back and i also really really love the h m vests um i don't know if i spoke about the long sleeve black ones that they did but they've stopped doing them i'm so annoyed because they were really really amazing but coming into summer she doesn't really need the long sleeved ones but what i have found are these shorter sleeved ones that are these are from the boys section but um I mean it's a grey vest anyone can wear this um I like the fact that they have that they're, they're not like a camisole like spaghetti strap but they have a little bit of something around the shoulders but they don't have the sleeves so you can wear these under dresses or she can wear these not me obviously it's like this big um she can wear these under dresses and um you can not see it but equally they do a really good selection of colors so this comes in a five pack you get two white ones dark gray light gray and black um, and she wears a lot of grey and black stuff where, um, 
don't know if you can hear that, that's her playmat. She's obviously just woken up next door and is playing with her playmat. Hilarious. Um, this is another favourite. I'll get onto the monitor in a minute. Um, but yeah, so um, the H&M vests, really, really good. like those a lot. I'll link those below if they still have them. The H&M stock goes in and out a lot. The other thing, um, this is also was a gift from another mum, um, friend of mine. And this is the White Company sleeping bag. I've got a few different sleeping bags for her. And this one has been by far the best quality. It washes the best and she seems like the most comfortable in it. It's stayed the softest. Um, the print is quite old fashioned. Like if you don't like kind of old fashioned like girly things you might not like this but I know they do some less girly ones like with elephants or stars or whatever on them um, but this is like a floral one um, it's super cute but it's like I said it's just the best quality it's getting a little bit thick for this time of year I don't know how much longer she'll be in this it's the 0 to 6 size anyway so she's almost kind of big enough to move on to the next size anyway but that's been really good and she's basically slept in that for the past few months another thing that you just saw, Tommy Tippy Baby Monitor. I really, really like this. We've only just started using this recently, I have to say. I thought we would use it much sooner, but actually when she was tiny, she just used to sleep wherever I was, um, in like a Moses basket, or if she was napping in her buggy, obviously when we're out and about. I never ended up using the monitor until recently when I started actually putting her down in her cot for naps. At the moment, she's actually next door asleep, or not asleep, because she just woke up. I can see her on here, I'm like watching her, um, on the bathroom floor because I was getting, I was sorting out all of my stuff for this video or for the last video I was filming which was like a skincare video and I put her down on her play mat and I did not think she was going to fall asleep because she was, she's only just woken up from a nap like an hour ago and she fell asleep so I was like well I'm just going to put the monitor on and that's why I really like this monitor, it's very easy to use. It's not a faff to set up and the range is really good. So our house is quite long and her nursery and our bedroom are at one end, obviously on the first floor, well not obviously, but they are on the first floor. And our kitchen is like the other end. And because it's like a long skinny house, it's quite far. Hey Bugsy, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna have to go and get her, hang on. Okay, I'm just gonna have to film the rest of this with her on my lap. Um, She's one very happy baby. She's woken up smiling. Um, but yeah, so the Tommy Tippy uh, baby monitor has been really good. It has never gone out of range. The battery's really good. And we've just found it really awesome in terms of what we need. Um, it's also like really nice design. I really like it. The other thing that has been a very recent addition to my favourites has been the Ergo Baby Carrier, which I obviously only have one hand now because I've got to hold the baby. Um, but this has been really good. We started off using the Cybex Yemma, which the design of that is gorgeous like it looks beautiful but because it's a wrap I didn't find it that practical most of the time when I put her in the baby carrier it's because I'm taking I'm getting grizzly now it's because I'm taking her um taking the dogs for a walk with her and she was really unhappy obviously when they're tiny they have to face inwards which she didn't like either um but it was also just like a bit of a faff to put on when you're trying to get i've got three dogs and we're trying to get three dogs out of the door as well as like keeping her happy and just wrapping wrapping was not good so um as much as i love the design of that carrier and it's it seemed quite comfy to be fair for her because it was very soft um it was just a, a bit stressful you to use whereas the ergo baby is just so easy you literally put it on and clip it in and it's so quick and easy and yeah she's also just getting to the stage where she can go forward facing which she is loving like absolutely loving hello boo boo is mummy talking to something Hmm, she's like, what is he, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're not normally here when I film, are you? And then lastly, before I go and get this one a bottle of milk, um, the other thing that she's really, really liked is the Fisher Price musical like piano foot play mat, which was actually another gift. So I bought her quite an expensive skip hop play mat, which actually she started to like in the last few weeks, but before that, it was just not quite right for her. Like the Fisher Price one, I feel like she liked earlier and she will stay liking for a long period of time. Basically, I'll, I'll do a um, cutaway of it because it's quite big um, to show you like holding it up. But it's got a piano at the, at the feet. So when she kind of kicks, it plays 
um, tunes on the piano and like plays notes and stuff. But the toy arch is also quite low so she could reach the toys much earlier than she could with the skip hop one and it's also like the toy arch goes like directly above her um like chest instead of being like a crisscross so she can reach all of the toys like at the same time so i feel like she liked that and she i feel like the toys in it as well were more interactive for her what are you trying to do here um I feel like the toys were more interactive for her. She's like more interested in playing with them. Um, and I, it was about, I think it's about 40 pounds. Like I said, it was a gift. So not from the brand either. It was a gift from, um, it was actually a gift from Sopa Duper, who I talk about all the time, but um, it wasn't a gift from Fisher Price. So um, yeah, but she has absolutely loved that. And that's her like daily play mat now. So she loves going on that. That was in the kitchen and she goes on that most days. So yeah that is it for my naught three update isn't it bugsy all the things you love yeah um and yeah i hope you guys found this video useful if you are about to have a baby or if you or i was gonna say or if you're pregnant but if you're pregnant that means you're about to have a baby or if you have a new baby um yeah i hope you guys found it useful let me know in the comments if you've had a baby and you know like what your baby likes what if you have any recommendations for like the next stage for me because she's obviously getting to that stage now where she's like starting to sit up and all of that kind of stuff she wants more attention as you can tell she's squeaking she's saying give me attention and milk and cuddles yes um so yeah i hope you guys are having a great day she's about to start crying i will see you very soon bye bye say bye bugsy bye